Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install both single and dual processors into the HP Z640 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will need either a flathead or hex screwdriver. We also recommend going through this process with a workstation on its side to have better access to the system's interior. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about processor compatibility for the HP Z640. Ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the white light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. We highly recommend you check the manufacturer's system manual and comply with the recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side. If the latch is locked, Please ensure you use the included keys to unlock the panel like so. If you have dual processors, you will first need to remove the riser board. Press these tabs and pull back on the two levers. Once they are pulled out, remove the riser board. Now you can remove the main heatsink to gain access to the first processor. Using a hex or flathead screwdriver, unscrew the four screws holding the primary heatsink down. Once the heatsink is unscrewed, the fan must be disconnected. We urge extreme caution in the following steps. It is easy to damage the fan pins, and it is very easy to damage the pins under the processor. Disconnect the fan by grasping firmly at the connection and pulling it out. Please do not attempt to disconnect by pulling on the cable itself. Once disconnected, you may remove the heatsink entirely. Remove the processor by carefully pulling back the two retention pins, lifting the final processor cover, and then, only touching the sides of the processor, gently lifting it out. Once the processor is removed, you will install the replacement processor. Take notice of the directional marking on the processor and ensure it aligns with the corresponding mark on the motherboard. Gently place the processor inside the socket and ensure proper alignment and snug fit. Close the processor cover and replace the retention pins to lock the processor in place. Now apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste to the center of the processor. It will spread out once you place the heatsink on top. Now secure the heatsink on top of the processor by aligning the holes on the heatsink to the screw mounts on the motherboard. Screw the heatsink down to ensure a firm hold. The second processor requires the use of a riser board. The riser board's processor cover can be removed by depressing the indicated tabs and lifting the cover. Now remove the heatsink as you remove the first, by unscrewing until you are able to lift the heatsink out and completely disconnecting the fan cable. Once it is lifted out, you will now be able to remove the processor. Once again, lift the retention tabs, then the cover, and then remove the processor. Again taking notice of the directional marking on the processor and motherboard, place the chosen processor inside the slot. Close the cover and replace the retention pins to lock it in place, just as with the first processor. Apply the same amount of thermal paste to the center of this processor and secure the heatsink with the four screws. Replace the riser board cover and prepare to insert the board into the motherboard slot. Replace the riser by sliding it into the grooves and pushing down on the board until it clicks into place and push the two tabs inward to lock it down. Lastly, reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.